Well, as we look ahead to this year's Olympic Games, there is so much buzz about the return of Kim Yuna and her defense of her Olympic title. Now, you've both done a show with Kim Yuna in Korea in 2006, and Naomi, you seem to have a personal relationship with her. So how did this come about? Um, you know, when I was doing some of the seminars in Korea when I was really younger, Mr. Nix actually, we did some seminars and Yuna was there. And I think um, from there, I, I, Yuna has, or I've been in shows, or Femi and I have been in shows with Yuna um, when she was, when she had just won Junior Worlds, and I think that's when, you know, our moms developed a relationship, and um, we kind of developed a re relationship with each other, and when she came out here to train for um, the year, um, uh, we just, our families just got really close, and we would hang out and have, we, I think we had Christmas dinner together, and um, just de developed a relationship from then on. We often see you not on TV dominating in competitions, yet Little is known for the public about her personality and the personality behind the woman who has all these world titles and the triple triples. So what is her personality like? She's funny. She really is. And I think she she doesn't like to talk about skating a whole it, We've never had a conversation where we talked about skating a whole lot. Um, of course, our mothers were chatting off about it. But, you know, she's just like a normal teen. She likes, you know... She likes to do what normal teenagers do, and I think it's very difficult her, difficult for her to do that because she is such a star. Um, and there's a part of me wishes that, like, you know, I could just take her away and, you know, leave her mom and her agent and all that stuff. But I think she knows it's part of the business. Yeah. And she's, like, remarkably modest and humble yeah. for being she so is. successful. Like, just really sweet... Uh, very uh, respectful, nice, mm -hmm. like. Yeah, she treated yeah. everyone. I mean, she was great to all the little, all the fans, that, all the skaters that came and asked for autographs. And she would just, you know, put on a great big smile and be really grateful that they asked her for her autograph, which is so, so nice to see. What do you think it is about her then that's enabled her to withstand all of the pressure and the expectations that are placed on her? I think she's just headstrong. I think she just has it. I think she just, that's what it is. And I think that's why she's been able to compete for so long in such a competitive sport. And especially because, you know, skating's evolved into this IJS system where the demand of jumps are so difficult. I think she's handled all of her injuries wisely. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, she travels with a trainer that goes with her everywhere and makes sure she's in shape and makes sure she's injury free. I think that really helps, and I think she's just been really smart and has a great team behind her, mm -hmm. and that contributes a lot to her success, and why she's able to keep skating also. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the attention that she's brought to skating in Korea will sustain after she moves on? She is, she's like, yes, absolutely. She's like a movie star, she's a pop star, pop star. <laughs> she's, she does it, she she does does it all. all. How about skating in Korea? Do you think that they'll still be interested in skating after she moves on? I think so. I think so because I think she'll still be the face of a lot of the endorsements that she has. And so I think it'll remind the little girls of what she did. And, you know, yeah, I do think so. I think she's going to be around for a long time. I think she's the most successful athlete Korea's ever had, I think. A lot of people like to compare her as well to Michelle Kwan. Do you guys see similarities between the two of them? Like in, in as far as like their... Their the success and their... Role? Yeah, their success, their approach to the sport, their, what they've been able to achieve both on and off the ice. Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. I mean, in a way that like if you talk to Michelle or Yuna, they're both just like very easygoing very down to earth like you can tell that the brain's not just obsessed with skating even though that's a huge it's it's everything that they do yeah. and uh it's everything that they represent but they're both very just i guess quote unquote normal like you can have a decent conversation with them and mm -hmm. and and they're funny and you know talk about school or whatever yeah yeah Especially Michelle, she's really like, she's amazing. Yeah, 